Good afternoon, everyone. So I am going to be doing a wonderful little tutorial haircut on my husband, Joe, this afternoon. So to first start off, we're gonna be removing some additional bulk from his hair. I'm using my Oster 76's three and three quarter inch blade just to remove some bulk up through his hairline. Once I'm done with that, I'm changing over to my one and a half. This is going to taper in nicely with that three and three quarters and give him a tighter, cleaner end result around his perimeter lines. I'm working through the curvature of the head, making sure that balance and structure is put into place really well. Once I feel like that I've done that blend quite nicely, I'm going through with my Andy's T-edgers and I'm making sure that across the forehead, around the eyebrows, around his ears, that that line is super crisp. Joe prefers having his sideburns cut into a V-like shape, so we kind of went through and did that. Also, too, working with my comb and making sure to brush out any unnecessary hair to make sure that we don't leave any holidays behind. You watch how my body positioning changes to make sure that I'm standing directly behind my guest to make sure that all the lines are crisp and clean. Once I'm done setting all those lines, I'm going to go through with my Andy's foil shaver to be able to give him a more smooth like end result around his neck and upper back area. Once I'm done with that, obviously water. And then we move into three sectioning. So we have the main part of his section and his two sub side sections. These sub side sections, I would like to maintain some weight for Joe's face line. So we are taking quarter inch diagonal back sections. Those sections will help blend in from that three and three quarters to maintaining some of that weight up on top. So just working in small sectionings using a moving guideline to make sure that balance and structure stays in place. Once I am done working on his right hand side, I'm going to go through and do shear over comb to make sure that since I took diagonal sections going back that I cross check them horizontally. Now I have moved over to his left hand side using the same exact quarter inch diagonal back sectioning, following through to mimic on both sides to be able to maintain that weight along his temporal area and have some good structure to blend in with that top sectioning. Now that we've moved on to the top section, we are gonna be taking a little over quarter inch section going from the nape or going from the back of the hairline to the front of the hairline. So blending in with the area that we did use our clippers into, moving to that front section. So I am brushing three times to make sure that everything is completely lifted up 90 degrees from the head shape using you know continuous elevation and good tension and cutting a flat line across the top section. This center section will be my center guideline. And then from there, each section will be a moving guideline subsectioned off of that one section. So as you can tell, clean and even partings, making sure that everything is neat and tidy, following through, looking for my previous section and cutting a flat line from there. So as you can tell right now, look, there's my old guide and I'm going through moving forward. So once I get done doing all of those subsections, I, since I cut front to back, I will cross check from side to side, making sure that that flat line is nice and square and it blends in with that first initial sections on both sides. Cross sectioning is super important to me to make sure that I did my body alignment pos positioning correctly and making sure that my sectioning sizes did not get at all sloppy or, you know, a little kind of crazy where there may be a section that may be like a quarter of an inch, half inch longer. Now that I have done that flat top layer, I'm going back through with my texturizing shears, just ensuring that blending and, you know, that movement over the curvature of the head it lays super soft and nice. I'm going to be using my Nero Dry to be able to dry Joe's hair and reduce any loose hairs off of him and then go backing through with my Paul Mitchell Mitch Reformer. This is a strong hold matte finish texturizing cream that's going to give me good bone structure 
and a nice end result to finish out his manscaping.